What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod and I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark seller and in today's video I'm dropping part two of some items that sold in the month of December on eBay. Now if you guys haven't checked out part one I'll drop that in the description below but overall December was a great month for sales on eBay for me. In the first part of the month sales was booming and I was shipping out at least six to eight packages each day and once the last week of December came around sales started to slow down but of course that was expected because you know Christmas time passed and people weren't shopping as much so if you guys are interested in these kind of videos don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and without further ado let's just get right into it all right y'all so starting things off is this specialized biking saddle and this is my first time selling one of these and i picked it up for i think five or six dollars definitely not a lot of money but i was definitely glad that it sold relatively quickly it sold within about two weeks and like i said it sold for 30 bucks plus eight dollars shipping and this is my first time selling this, but sometimes you just got to switch things up a little bit, you know, try to drift away from just selling only clothing, try to sell some electronics, some other hard goods and just random stuff that you can find. And this was definitely the most random thing uh, that I sold in the month of December. Next up is this Cabrinha kite bag. And I had this in my inventory for maybe three or four months. Um, I found this bag and I remember spending about seven or eight dollars for it. And the only th the only reason why I even picked it up and looked up the comps was because it was just a very unusual bag. So definitely anytime you see things that are very unusual in your thrift stores, definitely check them out because those are the things that usually bring in some good money. And like I said, I had this in my inventory for a while and it eventually ended up selling for 60 bucks. So I was definitely happy about that. Had it on Poshmark as well. Definitely had no offers, no likes, no anything like that. But it eventually sold here on eBay. Next up is this pair of swim trunks from a brand that I cannot pronounce. Uh, here's a picture of the, the brand. So in case you guys come across it, you'll know to pick it up. Because these always sell for good money. I believe these sold for $48. Um, I took a lower offer only because these are definitely out of season. So I didn't want to just hold on to it. And I only spent about uh, four or five bucks for this. So, so turning five bucks into 48 plus shipping is all right with me. Next up is no stranger to these type of videos. This is a pair of Hoka 1-1s. And I've had these in my inventory for quite a while, actually. These were sitting for maybe two going on three months. And at first, I priced them a little higher. I had them for about $49.99. And after after realizing that it wasn't selling, I lowered the price down to 44 and I was getting a bunch of offers, but there were mainly a lot of low ball offers. So I just took the best offer thing off and I, it eventually sold for $44.99. So I was happy about that. These were in amazing condition. I didn't have to do too much cleaning to this at all. And I usually use Gugan to get these stuff off, but this is actually before I discovered Gugan. That's how you know I had these in my inventory for a while. So since I couldn't get the price off, I just rubbed it over with some marker and that was the end of that. Next up is a pair of Hunter boots and these boots sold for I believe 55 bucks. So this was a very quick flip. Um, they were they were kind of dirty when I picked them up so they just needed some quick cleaning. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my shoe cleaning video, I usually just use scrubbing bubbles to clean shoes. And since these boots are basically just rubber, the scrubbing bubbles really help to kind of lift up some of that dirt and just wipe away the dirt stains. So that was a very, very easy cleaning job. And like I said, these sold for 55 plus shipping and it sold within three weeks. Here's a pair of shoes that I had in my personal collection for quite a while. I thrifted these maybe four or five months ago and I was wearing them to the gym and they eventually started to get kind of dirty. So I decided to throw them in the wash to get them a little cleaner. And once I saw how clean they got after washing them, I decided to just let them go. And it ended up selling for 40 bucks. And I believe this was overseas. I think this went out to Brazil. So this was definitely a good sale for me. Um, I got a lot of wear out of it. I only spent five or six dollars for it and able to turn it into 40 bucks. Next up is this Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. And I usually don't pick up Ralph Lauren shirts unless they're a very huge size or brand new with tags. And fortunately, this one was brand new with tags. So of course I picked it up for six bucks and it sold for 25 within two weeks. Next up is these red leather shoes from Bed Stew. And these shoes were in amazing condition. I believe I spent $10 for these shoes. And I usually don't see bed stew shoes in my area. Um, I actually did a double take when I seen these because the color alone really popped out to me. So I was definitely happy to pick these up for only 10 bucks because in my goodwill, the prices are starting to go up. And I figured uh, some of the workers might have just raised the price just because the color was so, you know, 
kind of out there. But like I said, I spent 10 bucks for these shoes and was able to turn them into 60. Here's another first time sale for me. And this sweater is from St. James. Um, this was definitely brand new without tags. I usually don't say that unless I'm 100% sure. But in this case, I was positive that it was never worn. So this one sold for 52 plus shipping. So uh, even 60 bucks. And definitely be on the lookout for St. James because... A lot, of the, a lot of the comps sell for anywhere between $50 and $80. Here's a pair of shoes that I had in my inventory for at least six months. These shoes were sitting. I even tried to take them to a crossroads. They didn't take them. Then I tried to take them to Buffalo Exchange, and they still didn't take them. And shortly after I brought them back from, you know, just trying to sell them at these local consignment shops, someone on eBay messaged me to send them some measurements. I replied within about 20 minutes. And they sent me an offer for $48. And I was just happy about that. Because like I said, I had these shoes for such a long time. And I kept getting denied every time I tried to sell them locally. So this was definitely a good flip for me. It just took a very long time to sell. Next up is this vest from J. Peterman Company. And as you guys can see, this one had some minor stains. But I was able to get the stains out for the most part. But where I rubbed it out with the Tide stain pen, I ended up uh, fate, making faded spots in there. So um, it still ended up selling for 30 bucks. I accepted a best offer on this. But if the faded spot wasn't there, I might have been able to get the full $39.99. But definitely be on the lookout for J. Peterman Company. This brand is definitely very, very good. It's a high quality brand and their jackets are very expensive. So if you see it in your thrift stores, definitely pick it up. Even if it might have a couple minor stains, because as you can see, this one sold and it had some faded spots. Next up is a pair of Nike shocks from 2001. And I picked these shoes up for about six or seven dollars. These shoes are 17 years old and these shoes were in amazing condition for the age. These also went overseas as well. I believe it went to like Turkey or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I was just happy that these sold for such a good price and they were in amazing condition for the age. So just a good flip overall. Here's another pair of Nikes and these are the Nike Air Max TNs. And if these were in my size, I definitely would have kept them. But these were in amazing condition. They actually had like a minor, it looked like someone used some touch up paint to get to get a scuff out or something like that. But that didn't affect the price too much. It ended up selling for $95 plus shipping. And I was able to pick these up from Buffalo Exchange after trading some stale inventory. So this was definitely a good flip overall. I was able to trade some stale inventory basically for uh, 95 bucks. Next up is this leather Averex jacket and this one was in amazing condition for the age as well. There was some distressing but the distressing was all natural just basically normal signs of wear for this type of jacket and it sold for full asking price of 149 um, definitely be on the lookout for this brand. Averex is definitely a strong brand, especially when it comes to their leather jackets. And some of their leather jackets have some artwork on the chest or even on the back. But like I said, if you see these in your area, pick them up, even if you have to spend a little more money for them. Next up is this double-breasted peacoat from Banana Republic. And I usually don't pick up Banana Republic pieces only because the money isn't really there for me. But this one was brand new with the tag, so I decided to pick it up. And it ended up selling for 55 bucks. So I was just happy that it sold. And it sold within about two weeks. So I was happy about that. Next up is a pair of Kobe 9 Elite High Victories. And this is my second time finding this shoe in the same exact size and colorway. The first time I sold it, that other shoe was in much better condition than this one. As you guys can see, this one has some scuffs and some scratches. So I ended up selling these for 50 bucks. And I remember paying, I think, $12 for these, which I, I paid up a little bit for it. But I was definitely just glad that these sold because, like I said, I had these for at least six months. Next is this pair of Free People uh, denim jeans with, like, a Bali indigo print to it. And it was super dope. Um, I had them in my inventory for about three months. I got some offers and I got a bunch of likes on Poshmark. But a lot of people wasn't trying to pay what I was asking. So I just, I just didn't budge on the price. And it ended up selling for full asking price of $129.99. So I was just happy about that because these pants are definitely super limited. So if you guys see these pants in your area, even if it's used, I suggest pick it up because you can definitely still get about $80 for these, even if they're used. Next, I got a pair of Cole Haan Zero Grands. And these are the ones that you guys want to sell. Luna Grand sell very good as well, but Zero Grand just demands a little more money. And these ended up selling for $55 
and these were in really good shape this was something else that i grabbed from crossroads after trading up some stale inventory definitely be on the lookout for cole han zero grands next is this easy riders leather varsity jacket and this is my second time selling a jacket by the brand easy riders the first time it was just a motorcycle jacket and that one sold for about 150 bucks and that sold within a couple of hours but i had this jacket for at least three or four months um, I was expecting it to sell a lot faster, but since it was a varsity style jacket, I think that's why it didn't sell as fast. So I was waiting on a very particular buyer to come along. Um, I got a best offer at 100 bucks, and I just went ahead and accepted it. I usually don't discount my items that much, but like I said, I had this in my inventory for quite a while. So I was just happy to get an offer and I shipped it out and the buyer was definitely very happy with it. And last but certainly not least is this jacket from the brand Taylor Stitch. And this is actually a stock image, but anytime I use a stock image, I always make sure I take actual photos as well. So if you guys are interested in using stock images, I, I highly, highly suggest that you always use actual photos in the listing just to make sure that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. But this jacket sold for 189 bucks. I got some offers for like 160 and some for 150 but I held on to it for a little longer and got my full asking price at 189 so if you guys see anything from the brand taylor stitch definitely pick it up because this is one of my favorite brands to sell the only down part to it is the fact that i hardly ever find it but anytime i do i always make some good money all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and if you got any questions or any comments definitely drop it in the comment section and i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible so i'll see you guys in the next one peace